what up you guys i'm back with another transformation now in this video i'll be demonstrating how to do a mid fade with a comb over i really do appreciate you guys for being so patient with me i do have a live just like you guys but enjoy this video guys and i hope that these tips that i'm going to show you guys help you improve your skills enjoy before i start this comb over i went down my client's hair to get an idea of what direction the color goes and to also have an even part Okay, you guys, as you can see, I'm starting off with the one and a half detachable blade. Now, there's two reasons why I like to start off with the one and a half. One reason is because it makes it so much easier for me to do the clip over comb. It just fades, fades in right away. Um, two, it's so easy to blend into the one and a half. Now, when you do a ball fade and then there's a one and a half on the side, it's so easy to blend in. So, as you can see, guys, I'm just, you know, bringing down the hair and making sure everything comes out nice and neat. Okay guys, now I did um, start off by doing the clip over comb first and uh, making sure everything comes nice and neat before I do the fade. Okay, you guys, now I normally do start off with my endis or my uh, wall trimmers to create my first guy line, but I wanted to switch it up and use my endis uh, super ZR to create my first guy line.
Okay guys, now I'm using my wall shavers uh, to ball down my client's head. Now, I am balling now to a certain point. I'm not balling now all the way for, to the first guy line I created. I'm giving myself at least a quarter of an inch. So that way, um, it makes it much easier for me to, you know, get rid of that balling line. Okay guys, now the next step, what I did to get rid of this balling line, uh, I did use my Andis Slimline Pro Li. Now these slim lines are gapped and it makes it much easier for me to get rid of this balling line by stretching out the skin. So now I'm using my wall magic clips with an open lever to create a second guy line. Now after creating a second guy line, um, I am going to come back to the first guy line that I created and starting to fade it out by closing the lever little by little. Okay, so now I close the lever all the way closed. Um, as you can see, guys, I'm not really digging the teeth too much in there by creating to create another guy line. What I'm really doing is just flicking out and, you know, just to get rid of this bottom line. Um, you know, closing the lever little by little and not trying to overpass the second guy line that I created. Okay, so now I'm using the 116 guard with an open lever. Now I am gonna soften out this bottom line. Now I am gonna kind of create another guy line, but don't worry about it. I'm gonna after using the 116 guard, I'm gonna come back and use my 18 guard, and you're gonna see how this phase is starting to come out. Now, as right now, I'm using the 116 guard with an open lever. After I'm gonna, you know, focus on the bottom line and by closing the lever little by little. So I did close the lever all the way close to get rid of that bottom line.
Okay, guys, now to get rid of the last guy line, I am going to use my 1 8th guard by, you know, closing the lever little by little and using the corners, you know, and you're going to start to see how the face is starting to come up. So I did see some uh, some lines that that you know that were not supposed to be there. So I did come back with the 116 guard, you know, by using the corners. Now you guys, in every fade that you do, you always want to make sure you know you come back and making sure that you know everything comes out nice and neat by you know doing a touch up work. Don't ever feel like okay, you know, just because you did every step doesn't mean that the fade is done. Um, you always want to come back and do a touch up work. It's really important. That way, you know, you won't see no guidelines, of course, and uh, just that way you can perfect your faith. Okay guys, now before I cut the top, um, I faced my client facing the mirror. Now I gave him an idea of how much um, he wanted me to cut down. So as you can see guys, I did create my first guy line in the front. Now from that guy line, I'm going to work it all the way to the back. Okay guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and dry my client's hair and uh, pretty much what I'm doing is going to dry it up and give it that extra volume. Okay guys, so the next step what I'm going to do, um, I line up my client by using my Endis Cordless Trimmer.
Okay guys, well this is the final look, a mid fade with a comb over. Uh, I did apply some, some hair dye on the hairline so that way I can give it an extra look. But if you're new to my channel guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. Alright you guys, until next time.